All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add bullet holes to your weapon. Bam, she's got a hole in them. And you can add it to the wall too. Looks pretty good. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a fresh world right here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is get a gun with ray casting. And if you don't have one, that's fine. I'll put this link in the description. You click on it. This will be green, says get if you don't have it. Just click on that. Then you can get it out of your toolbox in your, in your Roblox Studio. If you wanna see how to do the simple pistol with ray casting, I'll put that link in the description too. All right, let's go ahead and get that pistol. It's in our toolbox. And right here, pistol with ray casting. It has scripts. Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and drag that pistol down to our starter pack so we don't fumble around trying to find it when the game starts. There it is, starter pack. And now let's make a hole. So I'm gonna grab a part. That's gonna be my hole. And we'll call it hole, H-O-L-E. Cool, we need to know the front of the hole. So hit the plus sign, add a decal, and that's where we're gonna put our bullet, our bullet image to. Right, so that's the front. Let's go down to the size of the hole in the properties. And I'm gonna make it kind of small, maybe 0.8 by, I'm gonna do 0.8 on the X and the Y, and then I'm making the Z, that's the back front. I'm gonna make that small, I'm gonna make that 0 0.01. Cool, let's make sure our decal is still on the front. Yeah, there it is, face, front. If you kind of hover over with your mouse, you mess it up. Cool, now let's go ahead and get a decal for our hole. Let's go to the toolbox and we'll go to marketplace, images, bullet hole. Lots of bullet holes. If you don't have lots of bullet holes, go here and then click include unverified cre uh, creators. Although you should have about the same as, m as me, if, especially if this is pretty recent from when I'm publishing it. Let's go ahead and right click this copy asset ID. I'm gonna pick this one here, the first one. And on the decal selected, we are gonna go to texture and then we're gonna paste control V. We're gonna paste that number we got from the wood bullet hole right there, copy asset ID, put it in that decal. Now, that's what the hole is gonna look like. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna make the background of that part invisible. So click on your hole, transparency one. Cool. Now I'm gonna put that part in replicated storage. Just get the hole, drag that down to replicated storage. We got the gun in the starter pack, or the pistol, and then the hole in replicated storage. All right, now we can start doing some scripting. I put my gun in starter pack. There it is. Let's open up our gun, our pistol, and the ray cast is in the damage script, right? We're gonna need the result of the ray cast to add our hole. Luckily, I have a function that says ray cast, so you know where that's at. Let's go ahead and get a variable for replicated storage. I'm at the top of my script, or almost at the top in the variable section. I'll call that RS for replicated storage, game, get service, replicated storage. Then I'm gonna get a variable for my whole, but I'm gonna make this the whole template. So I'm gonna say whole, I'll put a T on there, right? Whole template, short for whole template. Replicated storage, wait for child, whole, right? That has to be spelled the same as the way it's spelled in replicated storage up here, right? That hole right there. Cool, now let's get our debris service so we can give the hole a time to live. We don't want to fill up the whole world with holes. And we'll do game, get service, debris. Cool, now I'm gonna make a function to add the hole. So I'll say local function, add hole. And I'm gonna have the result from the Raycast, right? We might even wanna put a note there. You come back like a month later, you're like, oh man, what's the result, right? So we'll say result is the result from a Raycast. Cool. Now let's go ahead and get our whole from our whole template, right? Whole template clone. 
All right. And then the whole parent is going to be the result dot instance. Now, I'm not going to do a check to make sure there's an instance there. Result gives you back an instance, the thing you hit, the position, and the normal vector. But if you didn't hit anything, this is not going to, uh, it's not going to have a value. And I'm just going to rely on the checks down here in the cast ray for that. So if you get creative, you may have to put an extra, a few extra checks in here. So after the whole parent, I'm going to do whole position equals result position. We get a position with our ray cast, whatever it hit, right? And now we need the tricky part, the C frame, right? That's the C frame of the part that has the whole decal. Which way is it going to be facing? We're going to create a new C frame. We're going to give it the whole position, right? And then we're going to have it looking in the direction, starting from whole position out one stud, but in the normal to the surface that it hit. So that's straight out from the surface that it hit. So we'll do result.normal. There you go. And if you know, if you learn what this is, this is just straight out from the thing it hit. Your calc three in college is going to be a lot easier when you start doing gradients and stuff like that. All right. Now what we got, what do we have to do? Let's add a weld constraint so that we can keep the hole to the part that we hit. So I'm going to say WC for weld constraint instance, new weld constraint. I'm going to make the parent of the weld constraint, the hole, because we're going to give the hole the time to live. So we want it to destroy the parent, the child stuff. And let's see, we need a weld constraint part zero. That one will be the hole. And then weld constraint part one will be the thing we hit, which is the result instance. Cool. And now we'll get the debris service, add item, hole. And let's give it a time to live, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds. There we go. Also, if you want the bullet holes to be able to hit the bullet holes right down in here with our ray cast, we have for accessories and then we have some other stuff. I think we'll be all right. Let's just go ahead and add that hole now and see what we have. Control C to copy that. So do we want to add holes to accessories when we hit them? Let's do that. Boom. All right. I'm going to get rid of this return. I didn't really need it in that one video. It doesn't add anything. I was going to do something with it afterwards. And down here, this is interesting right here, right? So if we have a humanoid, we're going through our character so we can hit the things behind it. So we're going to keep ray casting. Uh, I don't think I want to have bullet holes going all the way through everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment this out. I might need it for later, but you could leave it there. It'll just put a hole. If you shoot through like five people, each are going to get a hole. But that's kind of cool too. So you might want to leave it there. I'll do add hole, right? So that's hitting our person. So if we wanted to have like a colored hole, I didn't want to put any like blood color or anything in my video. Um, you could do that there. All right. So here, if it's not a humanoid, like a wall or something, let's just go ahead and we'll just add a hole. We won't do the damage and stuff like that. That's pretty good. I think we're set. Let's try it out. I'm going to have to add something to the world though, so that we, uh, so we have something to hit. Oh, and one more thing, go to replicated storage. Click on hole and then turn can collide off and can query off. That way the hole doesn't block your damage. We didn't check for that and I don't want to add any more code. So now we can go ahead and try out our game. So let's flip over here to our world, add some stuff to put some bullet holes in like a part, right? Let's go ahead and make that bigger. Cool. Maybe we'll anchor it so it doesn't fall over. There we go, anchored. And then let's add under avatar, Roblox messed me up, right? It used to be plugins, avatar, build rig. Let's put two different types of rig. We'll put an R15, 
right? So there's a lot of rounded parts. There's, that's kind of a problem with our bullet holes. Let's test it out though, see what we got. And then we'll do the R6, which, whoops, not that, uh, Rig Builder R6, which is perfect, right? R6, you have no problems because we don't have those mesh parts where there's part, right? Like this guy's head looks just like this guy's head, but we have that mesh so that you can't see the other things. If we go ahead and hit an Alt and a click, look at his head. His head is actually taking up the same space as this guy's head. That's something that I didn't solve in this video. You could play around with it if you want, or you could just use bullet holes the way they are. Let's try this out. All right, we're in our world. Grab the pistol. Let's go ahead and shoot the dummy. Boom, not bad. Boom, what happens if we shoot the hole? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm all right with that. What about this guy? See, he's not bad if you, as long as you hit center mass. But if you hit it in the rounded spots, you're going to have a little bit of problem. Watch this. See, his head's still there. We just can't see it. See, that's the problem. So you may have to do something about that. That is fixable, but I don't want to do it in a video because it's going to take a little while. But we got some pretty cool bullet holes there. I think that's nice. And they disappear over time. Let's check his arm. Yeah, that's not bad. You can play around with that. That'll get you up and running. R6, man. R6 is perfect. You don't have any trouble with R6. Cool beans. All right. I will see you in the next video.